Hi, I am Vinod and you are watching Indian Military Updates and today we will talk about a really very long range surface to air missile and as the video length isn't much, so requesting you to please watch till the end. So, Israel has successfully tested a 150 km range surface to air missile. This is a part of Barak missile family and known as Barak ER, that is, extended range. Manufactured by Israeli Aerospace Industries, can be launched vertically and can be used against several different kinds of airborne threats like fighter jets, glider bombs, as well as cruise missiles. The extended range capability is made possible in part by adjusting the interceptor and MMR radar capabilities to a 150 and 50 km range. The vertically launched missile includes a booster, a dual pulse rocket motor and an advanced radar homing seeker. A launcher can carry 8 interceptors thus enhancing air defense capability by many folds. Barak Air is the latest development of Barak family and a part of Barak integrated air and missile defense system. Supporting 360 degree coverage, quick reaction, short minimal ranges and an active high-end RF seeker for targets with low radar cross sections and high maneuverability, Barak provides comprehensive solution for multiple simultaneous air aerial threats from different sources and different ranges. India is also a user of Barak solution. While Barak 1 is used as a short range air defense solution, Barak 8 finds its way to Indian Army, Indian Air Force, and Indian Navy, that is, all three services of Indian Armed Forces. The medium range surface to air missile or long range surface to air missile, as being termed by the respective users in India, is a local variant of it. In case you didn't know that Barak 8 was jointly deployed by India and Israel and with a reported range of 100 km, it provides an extensive air defense solution against multiple threats. Now, there can be questions if India will go for this variant as well, that means air versions as well, but at this moment there is no such reports. Even the developers too officially didn't clarify anything. If India procured, definitely it will be a force multiplier for India. India is procuring S-400 and this is undoubtedly the longest range air defense solution for India. Besides, the indigenous platform too will be matured soon. If Indian Navy goes for it, it can be said a fiasable state, but naval version of indigenous systems will not take much time. So, will India procure it just as a stopgap measure? Only time will say. But one thing surely can be said that Barak has served India well. And it is undoubtedly one of the most favorite air defense systems of Indian Armed Forces. Hope you have enjoyed the video. So like, share, comment your opinion. We'll see you with a new subject. Till then, goodbye and chai.